up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Conor McGregor and Dana White. Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue. Yeah. You decide you want to fight mixed martial arts. It's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab. It always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez, Oh, or no? it's unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Well, the celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I got to be in the first row behind <laughs> the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas. They come in groups. They want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. Won two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation He for takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Dana Wise. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. The no Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? Well, there have been a lot of seminal UFC moments inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight. Should be a good one. Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Big Paul punch man. And I'm going to get back in the ring. Right-left combo 
low by McGregor. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Now a knee. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Single collar tie now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Back and forth we go. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Dana White gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. A single collar tie. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Oh, big elbow. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! Right hand on point. Nice punch by Connor. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, single collar tie here. 36 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Right hand punch from the clinch. Blood now trickling down from the eyebrow. That shot cut him. My goodness. Oh! Wow, that right punch has been a money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Left hand punch with the clinch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Three minutes have gone by here in round one. Oh. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Takes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, single collar tie now. Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. Look at the turnover in that kick. Gregor's uppercut, but that one is blocked. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, so an early lead for him here tonight. He came out aggressively, and that decision has certainly paid off. Good start to round one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good punch land. A oh, little single collar tie there. Trying to do damage now with the kick, that's a miss. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. All right, he engages in a single column tie here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Wait. 
All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our You're next ready? round. High ready? number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh! Oh! Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. UFC President Dana White's strike attempt there is blocked. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punch. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Good punch. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he's looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. UFC President Dana White gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Guys, really thrown with authority. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful takedown. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on this. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Under two minutes to go in the round. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Ninety seconds to go in round two. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh man, I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard. Man, he needs to start. Whoa! Second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster. Oh! He's hurt. Oh! oh he's hit hit hit. He's getting lit up right now, John. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. 30 seconds to go here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Dana White. Single ground strike there. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. And he's back up.
He has a commitment to kick it tonight in his show. Let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Third round underway. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Nice shot by the fighter here to continue to block the shot. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, that's a good strike there by Dana White. Back and forth we go. Let's go. More, more, more. That's Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, collar tie. Caught that. No, there's danger. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his goal. Oh! We'll finish his fight. Back to the feet. Just out of range with that right hook. Official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.